Hello guys, this is Al from OSC UK. Welcome again for a new episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. Also, don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I'll be able to create more content for you. In the description below, you can find links that are all affiliate, well, not all, but some of them are affiliate links where I earn a little percentage that will help me to buy a new license and I can bring to you more tutorials so now without any delay as the actual title says we're going to look at the wordpress and the big changes coming so for all of you guys that are using wordpress to build websites here are some news in regards of the wordpress forthcoming wordpress 5.9 you can find a lot of information on the actual wordpress.org website on the news side of it so it looks like that the alpha started on June 30th and the general release is going to be around December the 14th, 2021. So, well, I really do looking forward for these changes. There's a lot of new things coming around and I'm going to show you as well a preview of the actual uh, WordPress 5.9. I'm going to show you as well how to get as well uh, for your own the releases of new um, updates so you can actually test your plugins or you can actually test your websites before you can actually make the actual update so what i usually do i make a copy of the actual website then what i do i install some of the plugins that will update to the wordpress um, version and i'm going to test if there is any issues and i'll go like that for you know quite sometimes before I make the actual uh, choice when to actually update. You know, sometimes you can update the actual website uh, to the latest WordPress and everything breaks. You don't want to do that. If you've got something that is running, you want to test it first. Then I'm going to show you which plugins I use and I'm going to show you a little bit more. So where do I get the information from? Again, I said uh, WordPress.org is one of the major websites you can go. That's the, the main one. So again, you can find all the information. You can actually keep track of any uh, issues. For example, here we got the actual roadmap for the uh, the release. And again, as I said, the current planned release is going to be December 2021. I think on the other page they said about four, the 14th. So what is the actual mega changes? So here we are in um, on the actual webtavern.com website on their blog and as you can see there's a lot of things going on here and there's a lot of big major changes that we're going to see with this version i believe like the wp uh, tavern saying here the wordpress 5.9 proposed scope is going to be major and they're pushing to a full site editing system using gutenberg so we'll have more blocks for web design navigation menu interface for theme json uh, re redefine the editing flows for blocks of themes new default themes so we're going to have it uh, privacy the 2022 um, the additional design tools and a lot more and it's going to be an improved compatibility with php 8 and 8.1 so without any delays let me show you for example here i got a copy of wordpress and uh, this version here is the let me go here on the about is the 5.1 this is the latest of you can actually install uh, of wordpress all right and usually on the about page you can see all the changes they have made and everything else is inside here all right even this style and colorized images is quite nice the way they've done it then we got some uh, adding support for webp and so on and so forth so what do I have here? I got the actual plugin that asks me to test the newest version or you know available for that particular plugin or the actual core itself before I can actually install uh the, the you know the latest version because you don't want you know website to break down you know while, while it's live. So you want to make sure that everything is working perfectly. So here I got the actual elementor for example but i got the version for the developer all right here i ran for example a local website i'm using for example the uh my own panel here and uh, that helps me to create local wordpress uh, this is what i'm using at the moment for my uh, development uh, server so 
I might show you how to install this version of uh, web panel in the future. Uh, let me know in the comment below if you want to know more. So as you can see here, we got the Elementor Better Developer Edition. And all you got to do really, to be honest, you just go to Add New. Let me close this one, for example. And here you can actually install all the better version, nearly all the better version, not all of it. Now, even if you just press, uh, you know, write better and search for it, I'm going to show you that you can find a lot of information, including um, where, um, WooCommerce, for example. As you can see, we got the Elementor Better Developer Edition. You can actually install and then activate. The same thing, for example, we go WooCommerce Beta Tester. I got to update this one as well. The, and this is the actual main core, the WordPress Beta Tester that I'm going to show you in a second. But again, there are many that you can actually try before you can actually install the, 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 you know, the final version. So we go back to the installed plugins. Again, this is the Dev29. I can actually update and get the Dev33 if I wanted to. And again, I can go in that way. Uh, I don't usually use the uh, enable auto updates because as I said, this is just a development local web uh, website that I can use to test all the plugins, all right? Uh, we also got, again, the release uh, one on the 5.8.0 of the WooCommerce. Again, in this case, I'm going to do the latest updates here. And we also really got the, uh, the WooCommerce beta tester. You might need to update this one and add this plugin to make sure this one becomes the beta version, okay? This is not WooCommerce. This is the WooCommerce. This is the actual plugin that makes this WooCommerce a better version, not the actual one, you know, live users. So again, uh, let's update this one as well while we're here. And I'm going to show you how to install a different version of WordPress. Yeah, I'm talking about the actual core here. I'm not going to talk about uh, WooCommerce or Elementor, but just the core, the 5.9, and how you get there as well. All right. So what we're going to do? We're going to go to Tools. We're going to click on the Beta Testing. And here we can actually play around with the version of WordPress. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to update. As I said, this is 5.1, I think I said. Let me double check, but I think it is the latest 5.1, uh, sorry, 5.81. Yeah, 5.81. Yeah, let's go and update to the 5.2 Alpha 5.1861. So point release. Make sure is I save there. Let's go back to the WordPress updates, and I'm going to update to the latest 5.8 nightly. So if you were running a website and you're going to update this, your website might break down. So you know more or less what to expect. Now, even you know, sometimes you can actually try. You know, you can actually test your website with the updates, not live bats locally before you actually do it. And don't forget the most important part of it. Don't ever, you know, never update unless you got a copy. You back up your website. And as you can see, we got here the 582. That is not logically available. It's just a better version. Now, if you go at the bottom, you can see here is 582 or the right corner here, 51861. And again, sometimes he updates one every couple of days or even sometimes I even see the one you know or every day whatever and again now we got more or less the same as 51 nothing has changed here but again this is the 582 now to get to the latest 5.9 the actual pre-release we go back to the tools we go to the beta testing again and we need to change to bleeding and that is the one we want to change to make sure you get so it's bleeding edge Make sure you save the changes. And as you can see here, now we can actually update to 5.9 alpha 5.1.8.8.3. So like we've done before, we click on WordPress updates. We're going to do the upgrade to the latest 5.9 nightly. And the beauty with this, you can actually go back and reinstall the 5.8.1 version. So you don't make, you know, it's not something that you cannot go back. This is why I love the local and playing with this because I can go up and down and test all the plugins before I can actually use it in the real world, in a real live website. 
So it's nearly done. We just wait a few seconds more. And as you can see, we go five, uh, WordPress 5.9. And again, this won't change a lot. If you really want to know more what's going on, you got to come here on the WordPress.org on the news or about information about the what they're working on and again you can go on github and get more information you can get the uh, project overview and it looks like it's going to be a lot of changes here as you can see long-term roadmap phase two for gutenberg we got easier editing already available for wordpress but it's going to be much easier it's going to be a lot more blocks so you can actually use and build websites now if i go back here for example, um, let's let's go to cadence.local. This is all it is is the cadence theme, and I'm using, for example, just Gutenberg to actually uh, build websites. Uh, and I, I use all this to be honest, just and you know just to create um, demo for for people who need to learn how to use WordPress for their businesses. So let's go back here and I'm going to show you something. WP admin. And all I'm using here is the actual cadence. And when I go to the starter templates, for example, I'm going to choose Gutenberg. And as you can see here, guys, you can actually create fantastic, very well designed uh, you know, WordPress website. They're ready to go, to be honest. And, you know, with beautiful uh designs it comes as well with changes of the uh color schemes just with a click you know you don't need to do a lot of work and again you can change as well the uh, fonts the family for for the pages again don't forget you can actually install it but you can actually go to the customizer and you can do it then if you wanted to you don't have to do it now you can just go with the default and then change later and when you actually build websites with cadence in, you know, using Gutenberg, I can guarantee you, you get a quite fast website. And again, if you do some research, Google loves fast websites. So if you want to get ranked pretty high, uh, I really suggest you using fast templates like Cadence and use Gutenberg. Of course, yes, Elementor is pretty good. Uh, but if you, for example, go to Gutenberg, if you create two websites, one with Gutenberg and one with Elementor, and you have the same layout and you test with GT metrics, you will see the one with, even if you just leave it as a default, the one using Gutenberg is much, much faster. That's the reason why lately all I'm doing, I'm using a lot of Gutenberg and I hope to bring you a lot of uh, more tutorials based on Gutenberg's. Even if we go, for example, to uh, Crocoblock and even you know themselves. If you go to the products, you see a lot of things. For example, Style Manager for Gutenberg. Here we got the Grid Builder Gutenberg, Smart Filters Gutenberg with even with Jet Engine and Jet Booking. Now even Jet Appointments got the Gutenberg widgets that you can actually use because it's a lot lot faster. And I think the future is going to be pretty good for Gutenberg. And I do look forward for building more website and bring to you more tutorials based on Gutenberg. Anyway, this is all about it was just, you know, to show you how you can actually test yourself if you want to. If you've got a local website, even if you just run, you know, um, simple Apache on your uh, laptop or desktop or whatever, that you can actually start yourself testing the better version of not just of uh, WordPress, but you can actually start testing Elementor, you can test testing WooCommerce, and there are many, many other uh, plugins you can actually test the better version of. So as you can see, uh, we got a few of them. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for sticking by. I hope to do a lot, of more, you know, a lot more um, videos like this in the future, where it's a lot more news-based rather than just tutorials. And I hope to bring you more information, useful information that you can actually use and rather just on how to install applications. So I hope you enjoyed this small videos. Don't forget to like and share my videos. If you want to help the channels, don't forget you can click on the affiliate links in the description below. So you can actually help me to buy more plugins, templates that I can actually bring you. And again, I got some new uh, 
templates that I'm downloading from most of one, uh, one of the uh, affiliates that, you know, that I pr promote. And I'm going to show you some of the uh, Zemez templates that look fantastic. We go, um, let me go back here and see if I can actually find and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I go to most one, for example, uh, or even template most is exactly the same thing anyway. Uh, it's just two different type of uh, where or price and you can actually go to template monster if you want to buy one for example or you can actually go here on monster one and have a, a kind of a subscription so if i go to wordpress for example here so you can actually see i already download some of them and i'm going to show you for example if i go to the most popular and again if you look for something here i got another six uh, uh elements to actually download i got vustroids i got for example monstroid already download of course i got all the jet uh, from monster one and from crocoblock so i can actually bring to you more tutorials so if you see anything on monster one or even on you know yeah on monster one just let me know on monster one if you see anything you actually like would you like to see it let me know in the comment below and i'll make sure that i can actually download as i said i go i believe i got six uh, let, let's, let me have a look on my account here. An extra six items to download before the October 21st. So, yeah, let me know as soon as possible. Then I'll download it for you and I'm going to show it to you. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.